and for all those Australians who value, seek and struggle for peace in our world. I'm Genevieve Jacobs from Region Media from the Riot Act and it's a great privilege to be with you this morning. Today's ceremony and indeed this peace bell stand on the traditional lands of the Ngunnawal Nation and I pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging. And I extend this respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples who may be in attendance today and commit myself to ongoing acts of reconciliation. On behalf of the United Nations Information Centre for Australia, New Zealand and the South Pacific, as well as the directors and the members of the Rotary Club of Canberra Burley Griffin, I'd like to welcome a number of special guests. The Director of the UN Information Office, Mr Damien Cardona Onsez, His Excellency Mr Shingo Yamagami, the Ambassador for Japan. Uh, we have a late apology from Ms Geraldine Rurenga from Rotary District 9705, the District Governor, but Lynn Duckham, an Area Governor from Rotary, is here in her place. Musician and author Mr Fred Smith is with us, also a chorus of women from whom we'll hear very soon. Karina Arthi is also with us, uh, representing both Chief Minister Andrew Barr, who has sent his apologies, and the Commissioner for International Engagement, Mr Brendan Smith. Karina is the Deputy Director General of the Chief Minister, Treasury and Economic Director, Development Directorate. Member for Canberra, Ms Alicia Payne, MP, and I also spy Member for Bean, Dave Smith, MP. Welcome to the many ambassadors and high commissioners and other members of the Canberra diplomatic community who join us today and also of course to our Rotarians who do so much good work in this space. I'd like to also welcome previous recipients of the Chief Minister's Rotary Peace Prize and perhaps if you're here and I announce your name could I, could I ask you to stand. February 2018 at the unveiling of the Peace Bell, Dr Sue Wareham founding member of the International Campaign Against Nuclear Weapons, and uh, Sue? Sue is an apology. I do actually just want to shout from the rooftops, of course, that I can also won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2017. <laughs> an event that passed rather quietly at the time, but we can continue to shout about, I think. September 2018, Women's International League of Peace and Freedom were the, were the winners. Thank you. In 2019, Robin Martin, manager of Beryl Women. In September 2020, David Savage, an Australian aid worker injured in Afghanistan. Welcome, David. David is standing. And in September 2021, Fred Smith, diplomat, author and musician. Welcome, Fred. Ladies and gentlemen, this ceremony is held to recognise the United Nations International World Day of Peace. On this day, all 27 world peace bells around the world will be struck, including the peace bell in Cowra, New South Wales, and the first world peace bell located in the United Nations compound in New York. Our call is for peace to prevail in the world, in our cities, in our homes and in our hearts. To begin, please welcome a chorus of women with their song Hewa, Hewa, Peace. This song, written by Elke Bitterhoff from Berlin, has also been sung at the Berlin World Peace Bell. From here in Australia we hear you Your words, your longing, your song We're not Thank you. 
Thank you. 